I'm Angus McAlpine. I'm the uh, regional agronomist for CSBP in the Central Midlands area. At CSBP, we're always trying to do things better and, and make sure we're trialling these new products and services to make sure we're getting the most for our growers and making sure we're getting the most out of our fertiliser efficiency. We're here to harvest the long-term KTIL trial with our field research team, Nicola and Ryan. Our field research trials program, we look to ground truth our products and services and make sure we're getting good outcomes for our growers. The last probably five to ten years we've noticed a declining potassium levels in these lighter soil types. k Max is really suited for these soil types with the low potassium and we can comfortably supply the crop's K requirements for the year without having to over apply phosphorus. One tonne of wheat will remove three kilograms of phosphorus and around four to five kilograms of potassium. So for example, a three tonne wheat crop, you'd be looking at removing around nine of phosphorus and 15 of K. So that matches the ratio of K to max to have that application of nine of P and 15 of K at 100 kilos a hectare. The benefit of k max being a fully compounded product means that that potassium that we're applying is efficiently distributed amongst the drill row, which means we can get more efficient plant uptake and a better handling product. This year we've seen that the k max has been performing very well in those low potassium situations. I'm looking forward to seeing the harvest results here and getting our trial data collated so we can work with our growers and plan for next season.